Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can set up opening and closing of menus inside of Unity using a couple different methods. So the first and probably the most obvious option is to simply set up a button which can target a menu to activate it or deactivate it, basically set active to either true or false. So if I hide this options menu, setting it to inactive right now, and I take this menu button that I just went ahead and created. You can create your own button, by the way, by right clicking somewhere in your game scene, going to UI and then doing button. So it creates the same thing as that, just without the font change. And now what we need to do is set up an on click action inside of the button. So a button script will by default be attached to button, of course, and we can add in something to happen when the button is clicked by clicking on this plus sign where we have the on click event. So I'm going to do that. Now we need to specify an object which is going to respond to that on click event and the function that that object is going to run. So in this case, we want the options menu to show up when we click on that button. So that's going to be the object we have to drag into the inspector over here. So I'm going to drag this options menu down here. And now we need to pick a function from the list that's available to us. So in this case, I was disabling and enabling the entire game object and everything nested beneath it all at once. So what we actually want is the game object for menu, uh, which of course we have options menu put in here. So the game object is going to refer to that. We go down to game object and we choose set active. And then we want this to be active, so we check the Boolean box. Now if we go ahead and hit play, we can click on the button which should activate the options menu. So as you can see, when I click on it, it opens it up. And if I click on it multiple times, it keeps it open because it's just continually setting it to active. But it's already active, so we don't see a difference there. Now in the menu, you might notice I have an X button here. If I click on that, the opposite happens. It sets the game object to inactive. So we can take a look at that by opening up the options menu in the game inspector. So in my game object, the top bar here, I have a close menu button. And what you'll notice is that aside from just changing the appearance of that, uh, basically putting an X as the text there, it references the options menu and it sets it to inactive by doing game object dot set active and then leaving the checkbox unchecked. So that's how you can open and close a menu with buttons. Another option is with scripts, you can set a hotkey such as the escape key on your keyboard to open up a targeted menu. So I'll demonstrate how this works really quick, hitting play and then I'll hit escape and it opens up the menu. And from here, I can just close the menu by clicking on that. You could also have it set so that whenever you hit escape, it toggles it on and off. So you could have escape both close and open the menu. It's up to you. So in order to do this, I have a script called menu manager over here, which has a reference to the options menu, which it's opening and closing when we hit escape. So let's go ahead and take a look at the script here. So the script here is very simple at the moment. It takes a public reference to an options menu object here. And then in the update function, we write the script if input dot key down and then in parentheses key code dot escape. You can put a lot of different key codes in here and they'll basically be an integer representation or an enum uh, for that key on the keyboard. So for instance, if I do key code and then put the period in, you can see all of the options that are available to you here. And there's quite a few, but escape is going to be the escape key on your keyboard, of course. So if input dot key down, basically, if it recognizes that we have pressed the escape key down, then it's going to take options menu dot game object set active to true. So if you wanted to be a little bit more fancy and make it a toggle function rather than always setting it to true, what you could do instead of putting set active true is a set active options menu uh, game object active self and then you would reverse that with a exclamation point at the beginning of that so basically it's saying take the opposite of the current active value basically if it's currently true then this is going to make it false and if it's currently false it's going to make it true and we can just have that there so let's go ahead and test that out so here I'm going to hit escape a few times. So escape once to make it active, escape again makes it inactive, active, inactive, active, inactive. 
So that's two really common and useful ways that you can set up opening and closing of menus inside of your game. I've been Chris. I hope this tutorial has helped some of you guys out there and I'll see you guys in my future video content.